So I was explaining about twin flames and my I'm literally my energy is so fucking hot. I'm and burning up like a fucking phoenix. I'm molting like a fucking like a, a fucking freeze pop that I literally fucking overheated my phone. Like you that will start happening. Like your energy can be like as you're transmuting the whole process of transmuting, you will start fucking with your electronics. Like literally, calls couldn't come through at some points. Like if I was energetically disturbed, like shit. At one point, the weather like it started raining and it was sunny and raining at the same time. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like where I was, like I can't make this shit up. Like. I know it sounds crazy, but it's been a situation where, like, I'm getting, as you go through this journey, you have, like, ups and downs, and I was fucking pissed, or I'll be fucking sad and depressed, and it literally was, like, raining, and it's, like, everywhere I went, the rain was following me, and then back where I came from, the rain wasn't there. Like, I don't know what the fuck, but I've had that happen to me several times now on this journey. And I'm not trying to say it like I'm some, like, we're some fucking, um, 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 like, gods or something. But in a sense, like, this journey in union is like, okay, so I was explaining. Like, you're one soul, right? And you're like batteries, because batteries is more accurate. It's like a fucking, it's like a, uh, uh, like the batteries, it's like a energy charge, Right? positive and negative so but you're in two separate bodies okay so they have an inner feminine you have an inner masculine see your inner masculine and then this is their inner feminine oh well i guess you can say the urb <laughs> anyway um my lips yeah i'm very basic i don't have any makeup on so you can see like i started breaking out fuck out of nowhere oh my god Anyway, um, came on my cycle out of nowhere. I'm just TMI, but it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, so literally, you're in two separate bodies. So you can imagine, like, two, one battery is powerful enough, right? Two batteries on their own, like, do-do-do-do-do, going about the world, they're powerful, right? But when you put these motherfuckers together, like, who knows what that's fucking doing in the energetic field? And I just feel like... My own personal opinion, you don't have to agree with me, that twin flames are being called into union right now because they need to charge up the world. Hell, we're, we could be in the matrix. This shit could be like all fake and we could all be coming together so we can wake up the collective conscious so we can really wake the fuck up like Neo and see how fucked up the world really is. Anyway, it's already like a clown fest. I'm just saying that motherfuckers are getting way more, it's way more harder for people to keep their shit together fucking skeletons are falling out of the closet and i feel like this is karma times too like this is 2022 okay karma card the justice card is card 11 and that shit's time too so motherfuckers are getting their justice like their karma like that that just happened like less than a week later and the twin flame journey has been like every fucking day it's like changing every day the energy is like picking up lately um and it started in, in um april Anyway, reality versus illusions, where I was with the divine feminines, it's hard to convince myself that this is real. The reality is that you're in a twin flame connection. The illusion is that you are not. This journey can feel scary. You may feel alone. You may think you're deluding yourself. You may not be able to come to a complete understanding of it, but there are certain signs that can assuredly point to the ultimately the undeniable truth and help you know beyond any doubt that you are not making it up twin flames will always mirror each other in some way that is one sign oh yeah that's why i ended up with the batter the lighter batteries lighters <laughs> and there is the knowing twin flames both masculine and feminine energies just know even if so de definition remains unspoken between you twin flame souls are showing up here at this time to help heal the imbalance that has occurred between male and female energies on this planet it is big work it's important to just accept the mission release resistance it is the kind of union work that affects and raises up the collective soul big embrace and do the work so that is the divine feminine and once again my cameras ah ah look at that that's clear oh wow 
got some kind of clear angle. I need to like do my nails, but I'm over here molting. I'm like these nails. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm like so like I could be girly and so like tomboyish. It's ridiculous. Anyway, perceptions, perspectives, and epiphanies. I have my perceptions and perspectives and you have yours. I wish we were on the same page. The healing. Maybe you are and you don't realize it. Ask yourself if you're trying to control the outcome here. Realize too that you could tell someone something a bazillion times and it's like they never get it unless and until someone is ready to receive certain information in a way that makes sense to them. They just can't and won't be able to grasp, comprehend, assimilate, and integrate whatever it is. Accept that everyone, including you, processes things in their own time and in their own way. Epiphanies can suddenly spring forth from deeper contemplative perspectives. A leap of new understanding can occur here if you simply turn the page, okay? Divine Feminines, no control, release control, turn the page. You might be on the same page. Epiphanies, perspectives, and perceptions happen at the blink of an eye. And that's what the fuck's been happening because I feel like some, a lot of divine masculines have been getting it. And I'm over here fucking molting because they're waking up in fucking droves and the fucking energy is heating the fuck up. I'm just And it's heating up for Twin Flames and Union, so it's not just us. That's why I'm like, great. I had to talk to my Twin Flame family because I'm like, shit. Anyway. <laughs> Y'all might be more like hum-ha, like, what's well, not hum-ha. Oh, let me stop being so ignorant. Y'all might be more spiritually enlightened and use a certain vocabulary and my vocabulary might be very brusque and not in alignment with some of you guys well shit because this shit is just, i i need to be able to express my fucking self the way i want because this is some shit okay oh my gosh Oh, the one thing that's helped me through this journey is coffee. I'm just... <laughs> I will not go a day without at least two cups of coffee, okay? For my masculines, unconditional love. I don't know how this works. I don't think I've ever felt this before. Oh, what did I say? Unconditional love is not the same as codependence, denial, avoidance of one's issues, or being a doormat. So as to be lovable. Be the doorway instead. Be the light. Unconditional love comes from the place of the healed heart for my divine masculine. They're healing their heart. That's why you feminists needed that rose quartz. Because some of you guys need to have some empathy as your divine masculines heal their heart. And have to uh, deal with the fact that they finally found unconditional love for the first time. A lot of them have no idea what the fuck that is. And it's very sad. But a lot of you don't have any idea what it is either. Which is why you're so damn, some of you so damn bitter. Don't be bitter. I'm a little bitter. I ain't a lot. So I'm owning my shit. Own yours, baby. DFs, Divine Feminists, own your shit. Don't y'all like my little emoji cup? It's so cute. I'm such a like, I could be such a brat or whatever over some shit. But. Because y'all don't know my favorite color is purple, so there's a lot of purple shit around me. Obstacles. It seems like there's just too much in the way here. The healing. If one approaches a disheveled wound all at once, cleaning it up can seem like an overwhelming task. Whereas if you start in one small corner, one small spot, and clear that up, and then move on to the next area and clean that up, you will begin to find the task not that overwhelming after all. Try to trust that divinely guided relationships are going to find some way to work out. The way they work out may be quite different from your current perspective. Try to surrender to what may seem like a complete mess. Start somewhere even if you think you can't do it. Universe knows what it is doing. Trust. So a lot of you divine masculines need to trust. You may feel like you shit up, okay? And a lot of you guys have fucked up some shit, okay? But you need to trust that it's all going to work out. The divine is orchestrating stuff. Um, because everybody needs to be in their highest good, which is union. Um, and now that you learn the lessons, uh, start somewhere, start small, small gesture, build up from that and trust that the universe is going to make everything else work out. Okay, cool. Um, 
Now, for those in separation, we're going to get a message from the Divine Feminine, a message from the Divine Masculine. Oh, my God. Not that my dog comes in here to be louder about his barking after I ignored him. Oh, so. Leo's I'm telling you. <laughs> I got Leo in my moon. That's why I'm so extra. Anyway, Divine Feminine message. Divine counterparts in silence. So what does my divine feminine have to say to the masculine? We're going to get that message. Eh, they have to say, the silence is driving me crazy. It is. I miss you. I'm waiting for the right time. Oh, what the hell? That's the divine masculine. What the fuck? <laughs> I've never done that. Huh. The integration is like happening as faster than I can, can get a hang of here. Wow. I told you I'm in masculine energy though. I told y'all like I know when my masculine energy is out. Because I'm like masculine. The divine masculine got to say. Oh. Well I can read the masculine first. Fuck. There's no order to this shit. Hold on. Anyway, like I was saying, the Divine Masculine. I said Divine Feminine, but this is the Divine Masculine, okay? Divine counterparts speak in silence. Masculine, feminine. What the fuck is that? Masculine, feminine energies, conversation, oracle, deck. And the white one is the masculine. But you can take it however it resonates. Anyway, the silence is driving me crazy. It is. I miss you. I'm waiting for the right time to approach you. I'm not sure when that is. It won't be long now. Please don't be mad at me soon. Okay. I know you are my counterpart. I do. I want to be able to come to you as my whole self. This is why I am silent. I am working on it and on me. This silence causes me pain too. Did I not say that? They're working on themselves, fems. Um, so... Oh my God, when I'm looking at it from your point of view, this shit looks like hieroglyphics. It's so weird. <laughs> it's like pain. Me pain too. Damn, I must be dislike. I must have some extra shit going on. As you can see, like what? Anyway... Feminine. I would just like equal give and take between us. It's that simple. Period. True. True, true, true. Okay, so true. Sometimes I miss you so much it physically hurts. I feel you gone and it hurts, but you're never really gone, are you? No, he's not. Separation is an illusion, fems. Remember that. Don't forget. Trust the universe. You got masculine in you so lean into that and that's in a sense communication open up that portal keep it moving girls ladies oh my ladies <laughs> okay and i'm gonna get some let's do love angels of love romance angels for my divine feminists and Divine Masculines. I'm going to do it for my Twin Flame Collective. I'm going to pull some cards. Little Band Angels. Give you a heads up on what's coming up. Okay. Again.